Hey, 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 how are you today? I hope you are doing awesome on this crazy rainy day. <laughs> okay, boys and girls, so we have been talking about being healthy. So we've learned already that rules also help us stay healthy, stay safe, most importantly. But this whole week, we've been talking about what are things that we can do to stay healthy. So we talked about it the other day, and you guys told me some great ideas Going to the doctor helps us stay healthy. Um, eating healthy, eating like vegetables and fruits and eating um, good healthy food, no candies, only once in a while, no sodas because it's bad for you. Sugar will ruin your teeth and it's not good for your body. Um, we also learned that um, going to the dentist is important because a dentist can help take care of our teeth and make sure that our teeth are nice and strong, that there's no sugar bugs in there eating them up and giving you cavities. So it's really important that we take care of our teeth. That is part of being healthy. So today I'm gonna read a book about a friend here that hmm, has a little bit of a, of a situation, okay? Now I know that some of you have dealt with this already, I know that Vivian has already dealt with something like this already, but um, you'll see what I'm talking about. But um, it's something that we all are going to go through and it's something that we're all going to experience. But some of us will be kind of scared and some of us might not be. Do you guys know what it could be? Let's find out. All right. Well, let's see. Before I read the title to the book, what do you think this book is about? Hmm. Hmm. He's got his fingers in his mouth. He's grabbing a tooth and he's thinking, thinking about his tooth. Do you have an idea what it could be about? Let's read the title. Wibble Wobble by Miriam Moss and Joanna Mockler. That is the author and the illustrator. We have two. So wibble wobble, wibble wobble, wibble wobble means like sh side to side, shaky shaky. So let's see what it's about. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Wibble wobble. He's showing his friend something inside his mouth. Hmm, what is he thinking about? Hmm, all William ever wanted in the whole world was to have a loose tooth. Why would you want to have a loose tooth? I like all my teeth being fine in my mouth. Why would he want a loose tooth? Hmm. Do you want a loose tooth? <laughs> Let's find out. Everyone else in his class had one. Louise twisted around and around and Rosa's lay flat on its back. Ah, oh, his friends all have loose teeth. Hmm. But William's teeth seemed stuck, super glued to his gums. They weren't moving at all. Hmm. I don't know. It isn't fair, said William. Everyone else at school tells loose tooth stories. He looks kind of what? Upset, huh? Yeah, he does. Sammy swallowed his, oh my gosh! He swallowed his tooth. Rosa's fell down the toilet. What was she doing by the toilet? And Louise's flew out when he was, when he suckered a goal. Oh my goodness, look. He was hitting the soccer ball and his tooth flew out of his mouth. Ay, ay, ay. Have you ever lost a tooth? When your loose tooth comes out, Grandma, said William, you get a silver dollar from the tooth fairy. Is that so, said Grandma? Yes, William. And if it comes out at school, you have to keep it somewhere safe. Oh, that is true. Because if they're at school, if you guys are at school and your tooth falls out at school, I hope it don't fall in the toilet. 
I hope it doesn't fall out when you're playing outside. So we do have to keep it in a safe place. William continued, Vicky tied hers into a knot on her shoelace. That's weird. And Martin hid his in a cotton ball in his ear. Look at that. That's kind of crazy. And, uh-oh, I don't think she made a good choice. Today, Jasmine's got lost up her nose. Mrs. King said she'd keep them safe from now on. Yeah, you guys, if you lose your tooth here at school, please do not tie it on your shoelace. Please do not shove it in your ear. And please do not shove it up your nose. Give it to me or one of the other teachers and we will keep it safe for you, okay? All right, pinky swear. All right, pinky swear. Yeah, I don't wanna, I don't wanna dig a tooth out of your nose. <laughs> the next day during quiet time, William felt one of his teeth move at last. Oh, it's starting to get wiggly. Mrs. King, he cried, my tooth moved. I felt it. It's... He's excited. William pushed his tooth forward with his tongue and then he sucked it back with for Mrs. King to see. Look, Rosa, he said. Look, Louise. Push, pull, jiggle, juggle, jiggle. Poke, flick, wibble, wobble. Mm, look at that. His tooth is finally loose. Do you think it's going to come out? Let's see. Come on, William, called mom at bedtime. How long does it take to brush your teeth? A long time, said William. It hurts my loose tooth. See, he was excited about having a loose tooth. But sometimes when our teeth get loose, they can hurt up in your gum, what it's attached to. So sometimes, like him, he's having a hard time because he's brushing his teeth, but it keeps hitting that loose tooth and ouch, it hurts. William just couldn't leave his loose tooth alone. Push, pull, jiggle, juggle, poke, flick, flick, wibble, wobble. Look, Louise, said William the next day, twisting his tooth around and around. Look, Rosa, he said, as it laid flat towards the back. Ouch. And it doesn't hurt? That's crazy. Do you think it fell off? Let's find out. By bedtime, William's tooth was hanging by one thin little thread. Push. Push it out with your tongue. You can push them out. Push it out. Poke it in. Pull it. Flick it. Jiggle. Joggle. Wibble. Wobble. Suddenly, the tooth flipped upside down and it got stuck. <gasps> Look at that. Uh-oh. Oh, my gosh. That could be a serious situation, don't you think? Ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow, ow. Yelled William, jumping out of bed. Mom, Dad, he cried, rushing downstairs. See, he needed to be patient. Whenever your teeth get loose, they're going to loosen up more and more by themselves. If you keep messing with it, sometimes you can actually hurt your gum. So be patient, okay? William wasn't being very patient. Gently, Dad turned the tooth back right upside side up. Why doesn't it just come out, said William. Don't worry, said Dad. It will William needs to be what? Patient, yes. He needs to just wait. It's going to happen, but he needs to wait. Do you sometimes get impatient? Like, let's say you are hungry and you want to eat right away. And you're like, come on, mom, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. Give me food, give me food, give me food. And then they give you food and then you go and eat it and it burns your mouth because you weren't being patient. So there's things that we need to be patient for. Losing a tooth is one of them. In gym class, the next day, William did his best somersault ever. And when he stood up, his tooth was sitting on his tongue. William took it out and looked at it, and it was tiny. 
Uh oh. I'll look after it until you go home, said Mrs. King, wrapping it in a tissue and putting it on top of the filing cabinet. Then can I take it home, asked William, feeling a bit wobbly himself. Of, of course, said Mrs. King. So Mrs. King is going to keep it safe. Because remember, we don't want it in your ear. We don't want it up your nose. We don't want it on your shoelace. We don't want to lose it. We want to make sure that you have it so you can take it home and share it with your family and get it ready for the tooth fairy. That afternoon, William sat poking his tongue into the hole in his gum, waiting for Louise to finish his art project. Suddenly, Louise shouted, Arr! and started dancing about, I've got paint on my eye. I'll get a tissue, Miss King, said Rosa. So she accidentally got paint in her eye. Ay, ay, ay. So they got him a piece of tissue. Good idea. Uh-oh. Where's William's tooth? Mrs. King dabbed Louise, Louise's eye. By the time Louise was cleaned up, it was time to go home. So he was fine. Look, Mom, William said, my tooth came out. Oh, William said, Mom, where is it? It's on the filing cabinet where it, on the filing cabinet wrapped up in some tissue, said William. Uh oh, it was wrapped in tissue on the filing cabinet. But didn't Miss Williams get some tissue off the top of the filing cabinet to help Louise with the paint in his eye? <gasps> uh oh, I think you have a problem. Here it is, said Mrs. King. Then she said, oh, it's gone. <gasps> oh, no. They searched everywhere. Suddenly, William stopped. Rosa gave Louise a tissue, he said, when he got red paint on his eye. Mom and Miss King looked at each other. Oh, where could it be? Let's see. Don't worry, William, said Mom, searching in the wastebasket. We'll find it. William sat down and stared at his feet. He was missing his tooth very much by now. He was sure they'd never find it. How does he look? Yeah, he looks pretty sad. Do you think they'll find his tooth? Let's cross our fingers and hope that they do. Suddenly, Mom stood up. This might be it. She unwrapped a tissue and there was William's tooth. Miss King washed it, the tooth and gave it back to William. Perhaps the tooth fairy will leave something special tonight, said Mrs. King after all of that. See, he's got his tooth. The next morning, William looked under his pillow. There by a little wooden box, he lifted the lid and inside was a shiny silver dollar. Oh, look it right there. When William got to school, he told everyone his loose tooth uh, story. I wouldn't think you'd like a rest from loose teeth for a while, William, said Mrs. King. Yes, said William, I would like to rest from a loose tooth. That was a big adventure for him, losing a tooth, correct? On the way home from school, William took his silver dollar and bought an enormous ice cream. My goodness, that ice cream looks bigger than his head. It had little colored candies stuck all over it. Layers of chocolate and chewy toffee in the middle. That's a little bit too much sugar, don't you think? But sure does look yummy. William unwrapped it and took a big bite. Bing! Uh-oh. 
Uh-oh. Went the little colored candies. Crack. <gasps> Went the chocolate. Squish. Went the ice cream. Crunch. Went the ice cold rock hard co toffee. And guess what? What do you guys think? What do you think could have happened to William? That was a lot of crunching and crackling and crackling. <gasps> oh, you're not going to believe it. Another tooth wiggled. Push, pull, jiggle, jiggle. Poke, flick, wibble, wobble. Oh, my gosh. Another loose tooth. Now he might get another silver coin. But I hope this time he is patient and allows his tooth to fall off slowly and naturally. Now, boys and girls, what was your favorite part of Wibble Wobble, the book? That's your first question. Second question is, have you ever lost a tooth? Has your tooth ever fallen off? And if it did, what did you do with your tooth? Please let me know. Have a wonderful Wibble Wobble day.